Hey everyone, it's Lobster Shorts and I'm here with a card tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this ice cream die. I believe I got this one off AliExpress. And I'm going to be using it with this embossing folder. I also got this one on AliExpress. And then I'm going to use this stamp and die set. I got this one a really long time ago. So I don't know if I'll be able to find it for you. But I used the scoops and scoops of thanks stamp set off that one. So the first thing I did was I did emboss this piece of yellow paper using this embossing folder. And then I trimmed it down a little bit. So it was just fairly small to fit inside because I wanted to fit it on this craft card base of mine. So I'm going to adhere that first off and I just like using double sided tape for that. So I just stick it along the back here and I did forget my scissors so I'm going to have to peel that off a little bit. I like to stick it down in the middle too because otherwise sometimes I find that it puckers and puffs out. Rip it a little bit, hopefully not on the front though. No, we're still good on the front. So, I'm just gonna attach it to this craft card base. Again, how I like to do that is to position it. Just flip this over a little bit, peel that first piece off, and then use the bottom and the sides to make sure it's even. And then I Stick it down and then I know it's easy to just take these pieces off because it's already in position okay so now I have a yellow background and then I already cut out this piece, this square piece on white paper. Oh, bless you, Mr. Lobster Shorts. <laughs> and so I used, I stamped scoops and scoops of thanks down already. And I think I am going to actually prop this one up a little bit. So I'm going to use these little foam based pieces. And I always use a ton of these. I like to use a couple in the middle too. And that way it should stand up fairly good. So I did cut out that ice cream piece. And I actually think I probably should have glued this on before I did the back tape pieces. So I think I'm going to stick that ice cream down fairly close to the bottom there. And I'm just going to use normal glue for that. And again, I like to use as less as possible so it doesn't warp, but this glue is really good. It never warps on me. Okay, so stick that down fairly close to the bottom close to the sentiment there. Yeah, I definitely should have glued this on before I put those pieces on the back because it's making it way more awkward. Luckily with this glue, you can reposition it a little bit because I am terrible. I cannot glue anything on straight. My life depended on it. Okay. So I'm going to put, ah, that's fairly straight. Maybe I'll put a little bit of glue under this piece since I had to lift it up so much. So, I'm 
going to glue the green ice cream at the bottom. use a pin to unclog it. That's one of the issues with having a fine tipped glue, but I like that because then you don't get glue splattering everywhere. Okay. So we're going to glue the green one down first. I think that looks pretty good. Again, because I ended up putting the foam on first and I shouldn't have, I'm gonna have to stick it down that way. And we'll go with purple. Oh, the glue is working much better now. I think I'm gonna put this right about there. Again, I'm not getting things on straight. And let's put this pink ice cream layer on the top. To make all those layers of ice cream, I just cut, used this piece and cut it out a bunch of times. This set has a lot of other options. You can make cupcakes, and there's also a chocolate layer, which I do have. I did cut out a chocolate layer for this one. So right there. So I'm going to get glue on that too, and we're going to glue that down. that down and then we have a layering cherry piece that I'm going to also glue together so for that one I'm just gonna stick a little bit of glue on this base part here it's more glue than I wanted and stick that on And then I'm just going to adhere that cherry onto my ice cream. And again, I will flip that over to stick it on really well. Okay. Now I do want to embellish this a little bit more. And I think, I was thinking of putting some twine around there, but I don't know if I want to do that. And then making like a little bow, but I'm not sure if I want to do that or if I even have my in like a really good spot for it. Again, you can see I'm pretty awkward at this. Let me just keep trying. I still tie my bows like a kindergarten does, the bunny ear way. Does anyone else do that? back down. Okay. All right. And of course, I don't have to 
scissors, so hold on. Okay, just can't make cards without scissors here, so let me mix that. Like that. Where do I want to put this? Tighten that, make it a little bit smaller. I think I am going to leave that twine bow on there. I do have a couple other embellishments. I have these little pieces here and bigger ones. I'm not sure if they'll go. I think they're just a bit too heavy for this card. So maybe I'll put some candy down. And I got these at a dollar store. And these are nice and light, so I think they'll work well with this. One here. And then one more. Okay, so I think that's good. And then just to finalize the card, I'm just going to Stick it down, peel all these little backing pieces off. Okay. All right, so I think that'll do it. So just a cute little summery ice cream thank you card.